Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your bonus reading. So you guys were number two. Thank you so much. I do appreciate the support from my tiny little channel. Trying to get it to be a not so tiny little channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and um, share. I do appreciate it. Uh, so let's get going with you guys. So weird thing. Normally when I'm doing readings, I sort of scan over. I have a giant thing of different cards and everything oracle decks and tarot decks and no oracle cards came out for the bonuses none so um we have two tarot decks here we have the tarot dreams and we have the light seers tarot so we're going to be pulling through and doing a double tarot reading which is really cool because sometimes the same cards come out um yeah it, so this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and it could also be for North Node, Venus if it turns into love. Okay, so just um, know your signs. This may be for you. It is a general reading. Okay, guys? So when it's sort of just, I just sort of throw this one. So normally I try to really pigeonhole energy, <laughs> which is sort of like trying to herd cats when it talks to talking to spirit. But with this one, I sort of let them just bring out whatever needs to be said. Okay, so it may be for you. There may be little tidbits that are for you. So try to make it through the whole thing if you can. I do appreciate it. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get some cards for you. Let's see. So for Capricorn, for their bonus reading. So let's see. You guys have, um, you guys were doing really well. Um, I remember last sort of fall, you guys did, like, you guys were rocking. And then something sort of happened in the past few months. For those of you, that's that energy. Um, now, it could be you, or else it could have just been whenever you sort of tuned in, right? So let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Give me cards. What does Capricorn need to know? We're just opening it up. You guys just... Say it as it is. So right now I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot. Mercury is, I don't know the exact date, guys. I usually know these. Um, I forget. Um, I think Mercury is in retrograde. So yay. Uh, <laughs> so, so double check everything, right? Like any communications you're sending out or signing or anything, super double, triple, quadruple check it. So, guys, in the past, we have this Knight of Cups. You had somebody who came in, Knight in Shining Armor. Um, let's see where exactly this goes. I'm going to leave this one sideways, and I'm going to leave this one sideways. The rest of them I'm going to scoop up the way they come, because this is interesting. In the top energy, you have the Three of Wands, and it's sideways. When cards come out strictly sideways... I do take them like that. It's sort of both. So it's almost like you want to move, you want to go, but something's sort of holding you back. So you might be taking little steps, right? It's like, oh, well, I'm getting rewarded, but I'm not. So I feel like here, and I just heard that you don't actually know if you should go or not, right? So I'm going to show you this card. It's this feminine and looking out over the ocean and it's sort of like looking sort of determined, right? But not too sure if that's where you want to go. You just, you're not too sure. In the underlying energy, you have the devil. You guys have gotten this a few times in some past readings. The devil is sideways. So I hear that this might be something in you or maybe with this, we'll see what the other cards say. Something's holding you back. And I think it might be like a temptation or a pattern, right? But you don't really, something is keeping you stuck, right? And you're trying to get over it. Like you think that doing this will move you away from it. So let's see what's happening here, guys, okay? So we have justice. So right now, whatever you, um, whatever you're putting out, you're going to get back. And I think you're starting to realize that. It's like, you know what, if I keep going back and giving this second chance, third chance, fourth chance, right? Tenth chance, 20th chance, how many is it going to take before I actually figure it out? 
I think you're starting to realize that the more that you think about you, the more that this person was just taking advantage, right? This is just a knight. This is a very young energy, okay? Knight of Cups, it's great to come in and be charming, but then you got to go up into queen and king energy, right? you got to grow up. And this is, even though it is, like, very romantic and everything, if it doesn't grow up, it's not a good energy. Yeah, because, and you're seeing how things are out of balance. You have temperance in reverse. So you're really seeing how things are... Um, changing and you might have gone back and tried to force things and you you're just I think that you've just stopped forcing it you're really waking up to what happened yeah so you have the Emperor I feel that you have started to um, sort of identify with people and groups that are more you that are helping you to see clearer Okay, you're moving into this beautiful space. Yeah, and you're moving away. It's funny because you have the emperor, which is fire, and you have the king of wands in reverse, which is fire. You're moving away from this. I really hear that this knight of cups did not turn out to be who they said or portrayed that they were. They become um, very impulsive and um, actually just brutal, right? Like just like controlling um, and a big temper, right? And that they just sort of sit. They don't go. They just sit. They don't help you. They just sit. So, yeah. And the four of wands in reverse. Yeah. So you thought that this was supposed to be a happy celebrating, uh, but it isn't. This is, it's, it, it was, it turned everything upside down. You thought it was going to be all of this, right? So look at, this is one tiny little lonely card, right? And this is moving through here. Capricorns, what have you guys gotten yourself into? Nine of swords in reverse. So, um, I feel that you're really resting and recovering and healing from it. Okay. You are facing the problem. It's been sort of tough because it caught you off guard. And you keep going back to this, right? This is what our brains do. We keep going back to this and saying, oh, but it was so good. No, no. And I also hear that this, it could have been, is either very short lived, right? Remember how I said that you guys were doing great and then all of a sudden for like a few months, it's been not so wonderful. Or this is sort of like moving further and further out of your energy. So at one point in time, this could have been like a big deal and it would have been here and it would have been a ton of cards. But now you just have this one little card that's just floating away as you move ahead, right? So let's go ahead and get some more cards for you guys. Let's just clarify a little. This, it's not an easy reading. It's, you know what? Guys, like seriously, I'm, I'm online, I'm reading all the articles and everything. And you know what, dating right now like sucks, right? Any online dating sites, anything, it's just like trying to find and connect with somebody. It's just absolutely um, ridiculous, right? Like there's so many catfish and just people that are out there just to take advantage or they haven't healed or, you know. Okay, so let's go ahead. And can you give me more cards, please, for Capricorn? Either ahead, I don't think we really need too much clarification, but you can tell us what do does Capricorn need to know. Oh, that card wanted to bounce out, but it went back. No, we're not taking a whole book. Sorry, guys. Come on. What does Capricorn need to know? These are the only two decks that came out, so come on. Let's guide us. Okay. That one? <laughs> That's so funny the way that came out. Sometimes I laugh at how the cards come out like okay that's sometimes they don't even see some they just drop and it's like whoa so okay yeah okay let's see what's going on here yeah because we got some cards going out here so up here yeah the lovers so you're making the choice so the lovers doesn't mean that it's anything to do with love it is that you are making so the lovers came out over justice which is great so you're making the choice to actually affect this positively Okay, you're making the decision. You want things in balance. So the lovers is also about a partnering within yourself. I really feel that you're finding your true self within yourself. So your mind, your soul, and your heart are all connecting through this, right? So you're strong. You know it. 
nine of queens in reverse. So you might have, um, I think that you might, you're going through a little bit because I think that you're feeling a little bit um, used because you gave so much to this person and they gave you nothing back. So you're feeling like a little bit of loss of independence because you became a little bit dependent on them. Um, like a, it's that push pull, the runner and the chaser. And I think you're just like, why did I do that? How did I even get into that? Right? You're just like, this sucks. Like what, what happened? Yeah. You're 10 at nine and 10 of coins in reverse. Okay. So this is, um, again, it's just a lot of loneliness and a lot of loss. So you might have also given this person some money. Okay. Um, uh, you may, but it, it sort of turned your world upside down, especially because these are two coins, two pentacles, and you guys, they are earth-based and you are earth-based. Okay. So it could be finance, um, health. It could have affected you also physically. Okay. So you, um, it, it did affect you. And it's so funny. It's like, I just feel like you sort of sit there sometimes just dumbfounded at how it happened. You're just like, how did this even, how, how did that even happen? Yeah. Look at this. Cause you have the queen of coins and this is you sitting there because now you're in the queen of coins energy and you're looking back and saying, how the heck did I let this happen? How did I even, why didn't I see it? And you know what? Don't worry about it. You need to just go and learn from how this person behaved and all those little nuances, right? It's really hard to get into this, trying to explain to somebody how to, this dynamic works. They just know if they've been through it, they know if they haven't been through it, they won't know. Okay. So then, yeah. So what we have is we have the two of cups. Yeah. So you're still wondering how it partnered, but again, the two of cups with the lovers, I really find that you're just, you're merging with yourself. Okay. You are just connecting with yourself and you're moving with forward with you. You're unified. And I feel like you're a lot stronger from it. I just think that sometimes it sneaks up on you and it makes you doubt what to do because you figured out. So what you have along with, where is he along with the knight, the king of wands in reverse, the king of swords in reverse. So you have to remember that not only did they um, just sort of stop and be arrogant and controlling, they also tried to get into your mind. And this is why you're a little bit confused about it, but you know what? That's what these people do, right? So just, it's, it's about moving on. Okay. So just, just move on. Yeah. And it's funny because I was told to look at the bottom of the deck and we have the queen of swords here. Yeah. The queen of swords and the king of pentacles, the 10 of swords guys, it's actually really beautiful. Okay. So the queen of swords, you, you're, you're, you're getting it. Okay. Deep down, you know, okay. So along with this queen of pentacles, you're understanding, um, you're gaining control over your mental state. You're like, whoa, why am I giving this so much energy? They don't deserve it. Right. And you have the king of pentacles here. So you could be calling in somebody and I'm not saying it's romantic. I don't know because there's not a lot of super romantic cards. There are, but not with this reading. Um, you're going to be calling in somebody who's very stable. It could just be a friend. And it's a very king energy and it's going to help you. Okay. Um, and they're very positive and, um, and it's, it's going to help you move through. Okay. So, so look at your friends and make sure that they're really there for you. Okay, guys. So Capricorn, whew, right? This Knight of cups, I don't want to see again. I feel like shredding it. You know that, like if they weren't my cards, I really want to shred that up right now and just sort of throw it away or burn it or something. So maybe that's what you need to do is write a final note, tell them where to go, <laughs> what to do there, and then just burn it and say later, I'm not giving you any more energy. That's the end. Okay, Capricorns. So I will see you in your next reading. Okay. Thank you so much for your support. Number two, that's awesome. Okay. See you next time.